Hi everyone, David Saad here from skygems.ca. Thank you all for joining me. This is my message to you and everybody else in the jewelry and gemstone industry about COVID. I want you, I know a lot of you are freaking out. Uh, any of you who have retail stores are definitely having a hard time. Uh, I know a lot of you um, rely on gem shows uh, and trade shows to make your living, whether, you know, big dealers who are traveling all over the world, uh, you know, doing a different city every week or two, uh, you know, Bangkok, Hong Kong, Basel, these have, you know, Bangkok kept on going, but it might as well have been canceled. Uh, Basel's canceled, which is, I mean, almost unbelievable. Hong Kong show was canceled. Um, everybody's having a bit of a hard time and, and the world's kind of had the pause button hit. Uh, every major market has been you know, more or less closed, the physical markets, uh, Bangkok, Sri Lanka, uh, they've all been closed. So we're now at a, you know, we're now in a place where we all have to look at, you know, our businesses and plan for the future. Um, don't worry about the future. You need to plan. Worrying does nothing. Planning is how you get to where you want to be. And I think most of us have roadmaps, you know, where we want to go. Uh, if you don't, it's definitely time to, to make that roadmap. Uh, COVID almost certainly, you know, if we're going to talk about it being a roadmap, gave you a flat tire uh, at the very least. But uh, if you've ever, you know, if you drive, it's, you know, like I said, it's a flat tire. It's a temporary thing. It's something that is going to be fixed, but it's not going to be fixed by you and it's not going to be fixed by me. So instead of worrying about COVID itself, I want you to think and plan and strategize what you're going to do. Think about your business and how you're going to move forward. If you have a store, you are now an online retailer. You have no choice but to go out, get uh, online payment options set up, you know, PayPal, Square, or whatever else it is uh, in your local areas. Um, these are these are not these are not an option. Uh, this is a must. So for for some people who may have been you know kind of holding off on that, you know, hadn't committed a lot to their retail presence, you know, to their online retail presence. Um, this is the time to you know go ahead with that. If you don't know how, you you know there are tons and tons of resources online. Uh, Google will find you the way to move forward. Um, you know, and a lot of thinking. I, I can't tell anybody how to best move forward with their business because you're the expert on your business, not me. Um, but like I said, you are an online retailer now. There are some interesting advantages that uh, many of us and, and pretty much anybody who's going to be watching this have. Um, anybody who is a smaller retailer uh, or an online only retailer, or even if you're somebody who goes and, you know, just does weekend shows, right? And you do 15, 20 weekend shows a year. You are now on the same footing as Tiffany and Van Cleef and Cartier and Graf because they no longer have their stores. Um, they have, and I mean, these are stores, if you haven't been to some of these stores, I mean, these are stores where they have two, three, five million dollars in renovations and, and decor. Uh, they have staff who are, you know, like very, very well trained to be in-person staff. They're constantly giving these people, you know, spending a lot, a lot of money on these people for, for training. Um, you know, sales training and whatnot, which is something you really need to be doing yourself. Um, right. And you, again, you can go, you know, find something else on YouTube, uh, besides me to help you with, with, uh, your sales. And, um, this is, you know, this is something that again, like I said, this is an opportunity for you to, you know, rebalance yourself. Uh, reset yourself in some ways and grow in new directions. Uh, just because one direction has been closed, it does not mean that, you know, all roads are closed. So there are some very good opportunities out there. Uh, you might want to look at some of the auction houses that are going to be doing more online auctions, um, right? Sotheby's and Christie's have already said they're going to be doing more online auctions. 
um, Skinner or Phillips as well. So those are some that you know you can look at and say, oh well, I have this and this and this. Maybe I can send it to auction and uh, you know see how it works out with that. Um, there are marketplaces that you can find to sell on, and now is the time to do that. Um, right again, online is now absolutely king. Uh, I'm you know primarily in the online business, and uh, it's working out. You know, so far it's not working out great because people aren't just, you know, just aren't spending money. Uh, although I'm starting to see wallets open up just a little bit more again. Um, people are realizing that this is not, you know, the way it's going to be forever. Uh, people are realizing that crazy things happen in life. Uh, Warren Buffett put it really well when he, you know, they asked him about COVID and he said, well, you know, I always say that if you're in the markets for long enough, you'll see everything. And it took me to 89 years of age to see this. So that's how unprecedented this is. And that's how creative we're going to have to be. Um, these are, you know, events like this breed creativity. And um, as much as, you know, I don't like to put it this way, there's going to be winners and losers uh, on the other side of this. And, you know, whether it's three months or six months or however long it takes, there's going to be winners and losers on the other side of this. And, you know, you need to figure out how you're going to make yourself and your business on the, you know, be on the winning side. Uh, like I said, small, small operators like me and like most of my clients actually have a big advantage here. Uh, now, you know, like I said, Tiffany and Cartier have are now on the same footing as you and I. So because Tiffany and Cartier are now on the same footing as you and I, it means we have the ability to kind of catch up, right? We have the ability to say, all right, Tiffany and Cartier's clients, this is what Tiffany and Cartier has. This is what I have. Um, we're also looking at moving into a time where people are going to be a little bit more money conscious. Um, so it might be a great time for you to look at some of your older stock and say, okay, well, I've been sitting on this for two years or three years or four years. Um, you know, I don't mind just blowing it out at my cost. Uh, some stuff maybe even you say, okay, well, I've had it for four years. Uh, I already sold half of it. I'll blow the rest out at, you know, 10%, 20% below my cost, right? This is the time to do that. People are going to be price, you know, price conscious for sure. Um, as far as, you know, and getting, you know, talking about people who are price conscious, people that are my clients that are selling colored gemstones, again, where you know, we have a major advantage. What you get, you know, a $5,000 sapphire versus a $5,000 diamond, a $5,000 sapphire blows a $5,000 diamond out of the water pretty much every single day. Um, you know, 9.99 times out of 10, right? So um, the colored gemstone business actually has a bright future ahead of it, in my opinion. Um, people are still going to be getting married. There was already uh, a shift towards using colored gemstones in engagement rings. Uh, I mean, I'm making, you know, I've been making two or three engagement rings a week for the past couple of years uh, with sapphire, emerald, ruby. So because of this, there is, you know, like I said, a lot of opportunity for us to go out and, you know, acquire clients who may have gone elsewhere, uh, acquire clients who, you know, if you had, I mean, if, you know, just as an example, if somebody had $50 million going into COVID and they had, you know, I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about the, the poor people, I'm talking about people who had money, you know, haven't had money, but if you had $50 million going into COVID and now that $50 million is worth $20 million you are not so keen on spending, you know, $250,000 on a ruby ring at Tiffany. But you may be very interested in, you know, coming to me, David Sod or Sky Gems and getting something, you know, I mean, it's a $250 ruby ring at uh, Tiffany, something that, you know, we know we can make and sell to our clients for, 40 to 75,000 and give them at least as good of a product. And people are going to be looking for that today uh, and, and going forward. And this is going to be, you know, thrift and frugality 
are going to be the kind of the way of the future. But that doesn't mean that people are going to stop wearing jewelry. Uh, people have been wearing jewelry for 100,000 years. All right. I'm actually, uh, I wear my jewelry. So this is another thing actually put on. And you see I'm wearing my, you know, a decent shirt. I shaved and all that. Um, if you're stuck at home, shave every day, shower every day, you know, do all your, you know, get dressed, put on your jewelry, uh, do yourself up. And like I said, strategize. Don't think, don't worry, plan. All right. When you're thinking, don't let it go towards the worrying plan, plan what you're going to do. All right. We have a bright future ahead of us. This is a bump in the road. Um, but the, you know, the trip is definitely not over and, uh, the ride is not, you know, the ride only ends when we die. And as I say, you know, I've said so many times around, you know, being a gem dealer, you know, people ask me, when are you going to retire? I say, when I die, um, that's still, that's still my intent, uh, that I will retire when I die. Um, so until then I'm going to keep on strategizing. I'm going to keep on planning and I'm going to keep on pushing forward. If you have questions, comments, email me at david at skygems.ca. You can even call me on my mobile, 416-587-2112. Uh, I'm not even trying to sell you anything. You can, like I said, tell me to go fuck myself because you think I'm full of shit. Um, if you're angry, I understand, right? That's, that's kind of part of this process. So reach out to me and uh, tell me your thoughts. I'd love to hear your plans. I want to hear your big plans for sure. That's the thing I really want to hear. I want to know how it is that you are going to get through this and come out not just okay on the other side, but stronger and in a position to move yourself and your business forward. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay healthy. Stay positive. Bye for now.